Cody, go back. Good! Good dog! That is a good dog! Really good. This is sweet as wine. Go back. Good. Go back. Go back. Good dog! Cody, go back. Good dog. Good. Good girl. That's a good girl. Oh, good. Good. Dead. Good dog. Good dog. Real fun. Good. I'm going to continue this progress with Cody on getting her back, and I want to make sure I get as much of it as I can documented, and then we're going to try to piece it together. But. And yesterday I learned a lesson. Um, I got on her about not sitting to the whistle real quickly, and that really upset her. Um, she's kind of a, a soft, she's a very soft dog. When I say soft, I don't say it in a negative way. I, I, I prefer it myself. But it was a reminder that I just, I can't get on her so much. Um, it does cause her to shut down. She's not gonna learn much. We salvaged and kind of got out of it um, without a, a lot of loss, but I don't know that there was nearly the gain um, that we could have had had we had I understood and recognized the idea of don't jump all over her um, for something that has nothing to do with this drill. We're not working on sit to the whistle. Do I need it? Yes. Um, was it a mistake? Yes. Should I fix it? Yes. Should I fix it right then that way? Probably not. Um, just took away from the rest of this. So I am going to be a little bit shorter. Now it's much earlier. It's 5.30 um, a.m. So it's a lot cooler. This is the time we need to be doing this stuff um, instead of trying to force it around our schedule um, later in the evening when it's 80 and, and hot and she has a hard time focusing. We're also not going to go real long. The mosquitoes are really bad. So uh, we're going to do our best to get in and get out. Um, they already kind of pile up on the dogs when they're sitting here. Last night I worked with the dogs. Um, I did work Cody last night, not on back. Uh, worked on extending lines um, and lining in general with her. Just building her confidence back up on some of the retrieving stuff that we're going to be doing. She's used to, um, for the last several months, being a little pheasant dog. So she has not been doing what we were doing in training prior to. She was with her owners. So um, I'm going to set it up. And we're going to do something similar and I, I don't know i'm not i'm going to check out from the camera and just work with her um and i'll narrate it through as i as i go um the best i can but i do think that too much talking in these sessions holds us back a bit um it's hard for me not to do it um when i'm trying to figure out how to record it but uh so my talking will be some to you guys it'll be much more than normally um but I will try to keep it to a minimum just to avoid any static or confusion um, between me and her. So, good. Heel. Good heel. Come on. Good. Come on. Cody usually starts out a little slow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. But by the time we get going, she usually picks up pretty nicely. Actually, before I even put the lead on, good. Good heel. Kind of threw it for a curveball there. I don't think she realized I was going to do it. Good dog. Very good. Hold. Good. Dead. I don't think she realized I was going to do that thinking that this is going to be something real serious. So I didn't make her sit. I wasn't real formal. Just kind of loosen her up a little bit and also get her interested. And look how much better her heel work is right now. She's not coming out kind of nervous about anything. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. That's a good girl. Come on. Good, come on. Come on. Good. Good dog. Good. Good dog. I'm gonna go with a feathered bumper today instead of these bright, these white ones. Good. 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 Go back. Cody, go back. Go back. Good. Cody, go back. Good dog. Good. Good girl. That's a good girl. 
old. Good. Good. Dead. Good dog. Good dog. A little fun. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's do it again. Come on. No, no, no. Here. Good. 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 No. Heel. Good. Good dog. Come on. Very good. Good. Good dog. Go back. Go back. Good. Good dog. It's gonna be gotta be fun with her. Good dog. Come on. Good. Hold. Very good. Dead. Good dog. Oh, that's good. Good. Good dog. Good. Come on. Good. Come on. Very good. Very good. Good. I'm gonna add something to it this time. Good. Good dog. Good. Cody. Good. Go back. Good dog. That's a good dog. Very good. Hold. Good. Good dead. Good. Excellent. Added something to it. Stopping her going out. Stopping her going out. That was huge too. She kind of turned around excited. Come on. Good. Come on. Very good. Very good. Heel. Now I'm going to add a variation to that even. Come on. Come on. Good. So we are building in that whistle today. Just doing it with a different attitude. Not being so stern about it. She's responding real well. This time I'm gonna add a little bit to it and then I'm gonna probably wrap it up. Good. So she's still gotta be steady. She's still gotta be consistent with her solid sits. Her recall, I'm gonna recall her to me. Good dog. Sit, good. Good. Good, I want her to look at me. Good, get back. Good. Good dog. Good dog. Oh, you're so good. Good. Good, huge step. Huge step in the right direction. Very good. I'm gonna end it on that. I mean, we did four or five retrieves, um, did them back but we built it in different ways. We recalled her, stopped to the whistle, sent her back. We stopped her to the whistle, sent her back. We sent her out, stopped her to the whistle, sent her back. All of them went really well. Um, and I think one thing that I, my takeaway with this is, um, you got, when she's having fun, she's really learning. Uh, and I don't think it's just her, but I think it's hyper um, focused on her just because she is a, a real sensitive dog. Um, she's sensitive to the point that if you get on her, you might as well finish it out for the day because she's just not, she's just not gonna take a ton of pressure, um, which is just fine. When you realize that and you train towards, it, you know, you keep that in mind in the training, we just make an adjustment and it works out just fine. Um, there are times when you have to get on her no question about it, but just you got to pick the right times. If the problem is her not sitting to the whistle crisp enough, don't do it when you're introducing the idea of going back. It's the wrong time to work on it. Work on crisping up, sit to the whistle outside of it because it's something that she should know already. We've been work, we've worked on it. Now she doesn't know it perfectly, um, which is which is part of the problem of trying to rush through this. Um, we're not rushing through it. We're probably going a little bit quicker than I would normally do um, because she's not my dog. Um, she's a client's dog and, has to, and is gonna go home for this fall and they're dying to get her back 
after four days. So we got to figure that into the equation as well. But boy, she's just a nice dog. I've enjoyed training her from the start. Good. Good.